Thanks for tuning in. I'm McKenna King with a look at the top news headlines for Saturday, July 28th. According to the National Interagency Fire Center, 11 large wildfires are burning in Idaho. The Mesa fire burning near Highway 95 grew overnight to almost 15,000 acres. The Adams County Sheriff's Office is ordering a level 3 evacuation for Cottonwood, South Exeter, Trail Lane, and the Cool Creek areas. A level 3 is the most urgent evacuation. Officials say the fire is likely human-caused. Riders Against Domestic Abuse and Rape held their annual Ride for Hope today in Meridian. This year's ride raising funds for Hope Store Shelter in Caldwell, a place for victims of domestic violence to seek refuge. Radar accepted items and services for the event to be auctioned following the ride. The cost to ride was $20 per bike and dinner at $10 a plate, with a portion of all proceeds going to the shelter. Each year, thousands of people visit Boise's Basque Block for the San Ignacio Festival. And this year is no different. The event started more than 25 years ago in honor of St. Ignatius of Loyola, the patron saint of the Basques. It features local musicians, dancers, Basque sporting events, and of course, Basque food. Admission is free and there is still plenty of time to get down to join the party. Festivities ending at 1 a.m. tonight and going from 6 to 11 tomorrow evening. Now, the On Your Side forecast. And clear skies over southern Idaho on your Saturday in that there is no cloud cover to speak of in southwestern Idaho, but there is some smoke and haze that's been settling into the valley, and that's kind of moving around back and forth. We'll likely have that haze for the next several days, and as high pressure amplifies over the west, we'll see hot air coming in from the south, and that air coming in from the south on a strong southerly flow is likely to bring even more smoke into southern Idaho, most of it coming from California, where those fires are raging, as well as the fires that we have surrounding us, not only here in Idaho, but in other neighboring states. So the smoke is going to get worse and the heat is going to get worse as well as that high pressure ridge amplifies over the next several days. Your Sunday, we may stay out of the triple digits in Boise. Shooting for 98 right now, we'll keep a close eye on the trend, but by Monday, we definitely expect to be in the triple digits again with a high of 102 at the Boise Airport. 104 degrees is our forecast high for Tuesday with a slight chance of an afternoon thunderstorm that if it happens, hopefully will come with rain but there's a potential for dry lightning on Tuesday afternoon, so we could see more fires starting. It's only a 20% chance overall. On Wednesday, we stay in the triple digits. Thursday is a transition day late in the day, the potential for a cold front coming in that would make temperatures less hot by next Friday and Saturday down into the lower 90s. For the latest news headlines and up-to-the-minute weather forecast, go to sixonyourside.com.